Hi winners, this is Dr. Shrikant from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm here to discuss about the brief glance of general anatomy. And this video is exclusively for the students who are preparing for INICET MDS as well as NEET MDS. Okay, so if you are reading or if your scheduling is 8 hours per day, an average of 8 hours per day, you need to spend a minimum quality of 7 to 8 days for anatomy. Or if you are hitting 10 or 12 hours per day. So you can crack anatomy in 6 to 7 days. Or if you are reading more than this, you can finish anatomy as fast as possible. The advantage of anatomy is same as that of your oral anatomy we have discussed. Means you have a particular limitation for your subject. Means the question out of the box will be very very less. For example, if you are talking about general medicine medicine you they can give any depth oriented question like for example they are giving a question on covid 19 the covid 19 can be they can give a question on the initial phase of covid 19 or initial drugs which are used or they can talk about the uh, the mucromycosis or the black fungus which is going around the globe they can ask questions so there is it, it's it's not a depth oriented question the question can go out of box also but anatomy the question will be within the box and your areas to be stressed or areas to be covered will be limited and you can be more focused. So you can finish anatomy as fast as possible if you spend a quality of time with the book and the content. Okay, so anatomy, uh, I can I want to broadly split them into the following categories. So first category I want to add in the red zone. Okay, so these categories of topics are first one is your osteology. So where you need to focus on all the bones, mandible, maxilla, XYZ, all the bones including your cervical vertebra and your foramens what nerves are going to uh, with each foramen and everything has to be covered that is about your osteology both diagram based as well as the uh, theoretical based questions can be asked over this area they can show a foramen ask you identify the foramen or they can ask you like which nerve or which artery is going through this particular foramen they can ask you they can uh, they can ask you like they can simply give drawing a line from anterior to the posterior uh, side of the skull in a particular view and they can ask you arrange the following foramen such questions were already given in the previous examination so you should have a strong command over the diagram as well as the contents which are related to the diagram which were perfectly covered in a short video of 20 25 minutes which is available on your website one so the second uh, thing that i want to add in your red category zone is thyroid gland okay so thyroid gland is important from all the aspects important from your general medicine important from your general surgery important from your oral medicine everywhere it is important similarly anatomy of thyroid gland should not be skipped or neglected the third one i want to add this in zone in this zone is salivary glands okay of course we have done our best with salivary glands and dental histology part where we have learned the nerve artery uh, all all the lymph node drainage and everything but make sure salivary gland anatomy you have to be very very perfect you should be utmost perfect with salivary gland anatomy of course these are a part of your mouth okay so i can add tongue also development of tongue okay lymph node supply of tongue nerve supply of tongue uh, muscles of tongue and everything has to be covered top to bottom of course these are uh, this comes under the part of your mouth they call it together as mouth contents in the mouth the next one i want to add to the list uh, red list is your uh, pharynx and larynx okay so pharynx and larynx has to be done top to bottom okay so this is a one combination uh, which you have to spend a quality of time Okay, you need to spend a minimum 15% of your time means you should allocate at least like two to three days of your quality time with these contents two to three days you need to spend like two to three days two to three days each of eight to ten hours some minimum time has to be spent to finish these content so coming to the second combination I want to stress on to the second combination so second combination should be your vascular supply of head and neck the next one is muscles of head and neck muscles of head and neck the third one is nerve supply of head and neck nerves of head and neck the next one is the lymph nodes of head and neck so this combination is 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 like is like interlinked combination 
so all these are related to the head and neck so they are interlinked you need to spend one to two quality days to understand top to bottom diagrams and everything each of eight to ten hours so this is again a completely interlinked content one to other okay so the third combination i want to stress on is uh is of a less importance for a dental student from a dental student point of view it is less important but has to be covered ear eye eye and ear nose then you need to focus on brain and spinal cord okay so of course these are of less importance but has to be done properly because they are included in the syllabus according to the dca and according to the nb questions uh, related to the eye ear nose are a bit less when compared to the brain and spinal cord so brain and spinal cord basics they are asking questions they are not asking a depth oriented questions uh, like similar to the medical friends but they are asking some basic questions which you have to be familiar with okay so the next last combination uh, that is a part of general anatomy but not included in the textbook of general anatomy uh, that is your general histology and your general embryology so these are the topics that you have to focus on and the last combination you should spend a quality of time of again like two to three days right so at most important in these list is i can i can stress on brain and spinal cord basics general histology at your best and general embryology at your best so these are the topics that you have to cover apart from this there may be other miscellaneous topics here and there which has to be done i'll be covering them on your regular uh, offline as well as online discussion part we'll try to cover them so this is the brief glance of the contents what you need to do now i'll just elaborate where to be done how to be done and how to handle the revision so first of all i'll be uh, stressing on uh, the books that you need to uh, take them as a reference okay first is uh, the third and fourth volumes of eighth edition of chaurasia if you have that because recent eighth edition has splitted uh, your brain and neuro anatomy as a separate a separate volume uh, previously it is used to be in combination with uh, the third volume but now it is split to the fourth volume good if you have this book if not you can follow the regular book or regular edition whatever you have chaurasia sounds to be a very good source of reference only make sure if you need a proper reference go to this book okay or else like the video content which is there on the website of mds conquer is more than sufficient to crack any question because the videos were prepared under proper guidance okay so most of the content was properly organizedly covered okay so that is more than sufficient the second one uh, because if you can see the recent inicet there were one or two questions on uh, uh, like on the images which are taken from gans anatomy it's a bit difficult because like uh, the sectional based images like uh, the images of your dead body the cavator based images were given uh, i feel like don't you don't need to waste much of your time in in uh, in in reading these contents but some some important areas like your muscles of mastication uh, images of your of your cavator based images or your lateral wall of the neck some these are some basic common common sense or common things that they regularly ask in our viva during our first year so the questions will be in the similar way you can easily handle even if you see an animation based diagram but i don't want you to uh, worry about that okay so just try to be focused you can stick stick on to the content that is provided by the team that is more than sufficient to crack any difficult question so for uh, embryology you can stick on to indrabir singh and for histology you can stick on to indrabir singh histology based uh, diagram based histology questions are uh, again frequently asked nowadays in the examination so you should be familiar with everything will be covered on the group okay so this is about the books that you need to follow the second thing i want to elaborate is uh, the content okay how to prepare a proper notes no need to prepare any notes for this okay so there were like 10 to 15 pages of uh, general anatomy synopsis that is present in your basic mcq book whatever you are following it has the 10 to 15 pages sound 
good synopsis of general anatomy okay so that you can you can take as a base uh, you can add uh, five or six more white pages of a4 sheet to that particular 14 to 15 pages here and there wherever required your stick notes and everything prepare properly and you can add them and wherever you want you can add them at that particular zone and you can start building your notes you can take that uh, 12 to 15 pages as a basic notes and wherever you require you add them don't start rewriting the notes again again and again okay so what to be done for individual topics like uh, uh, coming to the video content of the website okay so i want to stress on the video content so you'll have a video content of osteology thyroid gland tongue pharynx and larynx salivary glands you'll have a video content so you will have a video content of almost all the topics no need to break your heads maybe i ear nose all these uh, synopsis content was not uh, well covered so wherever you required synopsis content you can prepare from the videos of mds conquer right so uh, right the next important aspect coming to the osteology so make sure you try to do osteology smart video that is present on the website along with the synopsis content of the mcq books don't write it first see the smart video then go back to the synopsis and just have a glance over the synopsis then if you feel anything has to be converted convert them into notes and add them to the synopsis right so that is one so once you are done with this evening we'll have a small activity on the group followed by you can check the topic specific exam and you can practice these examinations you can practice these examinations on the i mean like you can practice the mcqs right so you have to do smart video in combination with the synopsis then followed by you need to solve the uh, mcqs and followed by you need to attend the evening activity so this is almost this is going to be same for almost all the uh, all the topics so thyroid gland uh, the synopsis was not properly covered okay so you can stick on to the smart video salivary glands you can stick on to the smart video tongue you can stick on to the smart video with the synopsis larynx pharynx smart video so you can stick on to the smart video in combination with the synopsis for the most of the contents right most of the contents and once you are done with the proper understanding of the anatomy and all the important contents with a with a good proper organized synopsis plus notes make sure you try to get exposed to as number of mcqs as possible most of you are following two mcq basic mcq books like your dental pulse and dentist so whichever is feasible whichever is accessible try to finish that mcqs mcqs from that particular book and and my personal suggestion either once you are done with these any of these books at least one you can just and and the book, and the and the website content like the website content of your uh, uh topic specific questions make sure you try to get exposed to either across or either vivek gen that is your fibia the books are across or fibia any of these books you can stick on to these topics only head and neck you should stick on to mostly you should stick on to the head and neck topics okay right so that is important aspect concerned with all almost all the topics so all the topics coming to the eye and nose i want you guys to stick on only to the smart videos only to the smart videos followed by the topic specific topic specific exam brain also you can stick on to the smart video plus your your pulse synopsis and followed by the topic specific uh, stuff and coming to the uh, general histo and general embryo so these are the uh, sub topics which were most frequently ignored by majority of the paper setters as well as the book authors but nowadays you can we are seeing more familiar questions on this area so where the diagram based questions has to be stressed well okay and uh, coming to the embryology we have I, i'll try to provide one or one video is already there like i will try to provide one to two or two to three videos on embryology covering as much stuff as possible so that please try to stick on to the smart videos and try to get exposed to as number of mcqs as possible and do make a note when you are doing embryology try to stick on to the embryology of head and neck mostly so embryology from uh, it can be from the reproductive system it can be from the kidney it can be from the liver and everywhere but try to stick on to the contents like uh, like development of face develop 
development of tongue development of nose development of palate development of thyroid gland so you stick on to the basic embryology which is going to be like the union of your sperm and ovum leading to the embryo and all the stages pre embryonic post embryonic and everything and followed by development of individual organ mostly you have to stick on to the head and neck zone only don't don't go to the all medical related stuff and coming to the embryology embryology you have to focus more on the cell cell organelles again they, these are discussed in your biochemistry everywhere these are cell organelles are being discussed in your microbiology also so you need to focus more on the cell cell organelle different types of cell junctions okay and different types of epitheliums their diagrams their examples diagram based questions are very familiar and very peculiar cells in each type of organ like this type of glands are seen in which 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 organ or these types of cells are seen in which organ and most of these stuff singularness and everything along with the diagrams will be discussed on the group itself so this is what the rough content that you have to do for the anatomy and make a note uh, when you are about to start anatomy arrange your armamentarium in proper organized way scheduling makes make sure you write everything whatever i have discussed on a paper and stick on stick on to your wall stick on to your study area and uh, make sure you try to get all the contents like uh, if if possible you have if you have your chowras yeah make sure uh, it get it should be it should be ready in front of you uh, whatever mcq book you are solving proper notes uh, your colors colors are more important because anatomy is more of color differentiation so make sure get ready with all your armamentarium now like if you if you need something again you should not go back and waste your time everything should be ready on your table okay you should focus on the video content and spend quality time on the video content and try to finish the syllabus as fast as possible and one more personal suggestion from my side you can take it or not whenever you, when when you are doing anatomy it is better you combine with any other clinical subject because anatomy on a peak level may eat away your may eat away your energy levels and may lead to saturation so whenever you saturated add a comfortable clinical subject comfortable clinical subjects comfortability varies from student to student whatever comfortable like you can add like 2 hours of clinical subject any of the clinical subject which you feel comfortable along with anatomy whenever you feel bored whenever you feel frustrated drop a clinical subject one hour and come back to anatomy again this is how you have to handle anatomy in the best way and make yourself best in this make a note this is a subject of a limited content means you cannot the paper sector in 95% of cases cannot give a question out of box he can give a difficult question but cannot give a question out of box so this has to be done as fast as possible and this has to be revised in a limited time for example in the last 15 20 days if i'm asking you to revise anatomy it should not take more than half a day because subjects which are going out of box has to be allocated a decent time rather than subjects which are in in the box like i can i can add a few subjects in this list your biochemistry for sure will be within the box your dental anatomy will be within the box your dental histology will be within the box your dental materials excluding the recent updates in the dental materials within the box and such subject is your general anatomy okay questions out of box are very very less familiar okay so this is all from my side uh, stay positive stay safe at home and try to be more focused okay so done for now signing off dr shrikant from team mds konkan